Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Spiritual Teacher here. Well, what do you think this is? Well, you get the exposure somewhat. It's a powder, it's yellow. It has a corny flavor. <laughs> and, well, this is uh, masa harina, or corn flour, organic corn flour, and it's been around for thousands upon thousands of years, and it's really sustained a lot of cultures and, and <laughs> billions of people probably over lifetimes. I mean, it's amazing uh, stuff. Um, we make corn tortillas at least uh, once or twice a week. It's uh, a mainstay at our house, and it's been used in the Inca, you know, uh, population and also with the Mayans and the Aztecs that use them down through history and they actually sustained those people. It was one of the main, you know, foods in their life. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And it was very healthy for them too. And it's full of antioxidants and the darker the corn, you get the black corns, the red corns, the blue corns, those are all actually have more antioxidants in them. So it's really good in that way. Uh, the masa is actually made by putting lye with the uh, with the corn itself, and then the outside uh, hole it dissolves away, and then it can be ground down into a nice flour. It makes it easy to digest, also, and it has full of good short chain fatty acids, which are really good for fighting off cancer, and lots of uh, good fiber for. Uh, Promoting good growth or probiotics. Now, growth, probiotics are really necessary for just about everything in our body, from mood to everything else. And so if you really want to be healthy, you really want to have lots of probiotics. You should have four or five pounds of good probiotics. Most people only have about a half pound or a quarter pound. That's really not good. So it's really interesting that we need a lot of fiber and uh you know, beans and corn, <laughs> they go together, absolutely. <clears throat> beans and rice go together, absolutely. Those are the, the mainstays of populations around, around the world. Also, contains good fats for the body in general, uh, contains great protein, prevents macular degeneration. So I think that's really important. Uh, if you ever come down with blindness, you know how important that would be, I tell you. I used to work for the Blind Center in uh, Monterey, California, and visiting people who are blind because of macular degeneration, and uh, it's not good. You, this is all preventable. And we get, lowers blood, blood pressure. So this is important. You know, a little masa in our diet every week is really, a, really a good thing. It lowers blood sugar. It can kill viruses in our body, and it's very low in calories as far as that goes. And uh, it helps for. It's linked to long life also, which is good. I know. Also, beans are linked to long life. Corn and beans. What do you know? <laughs> But see, like I said, the darker colors have more antioxidants in them. And it's a gluten-free food. It's cholesterol-free food. It has a lot of B vitamins in it and trace minerals. It's a full-spectrum food when put together with beans, like I said before, so you could really do well. Uh, corn and beans and lots of greens. So that's a great diet. There's no doubt about it. Also, it's a group has lots of energy in it so that you can work hard and do what you need to do every single day and, you know, be able to expend those calories that you need to, you know, get your work done. Also, it's tasty in a lot of dishes. It's absolutely wonderful. You know, if you're going to make enchiladas or you're going to make tacos or, you know, all kinds of different things. Uh, uh, I use uh, organic corn and just about everything, even baking and making cakes and all kinds of things. So it's really good. Also, if you have gluten intolerance, it's really good for that uh, because it has no gluten in it at all. And if you have celiac disease, even better because, you know, of course it doesn't have any gluten in it. And uh, I know people who have lots of celiac disease and it will shorten a person's lifespan. So you want to make sure you, you know, get things that don't have any gluten in them, like corn and rice and things like that, which are really good. Also, 
Yeah, this wonderful flower reduces constipation and, like I said, promotes uh, probiotics in the body. It's great for weight loss. It actually makes you feel really full. One cup of the flour actually make about eight or nine of the tortillas, and that's a, that's a lot of tortillas. You probably wouldn't eat that many at a setting. There's no doubt about that. So, uh, it's so it's really makes you full. There's no doubt about that too. <laughs> it's a good source of iron and uh, lots of calcium for strong bones. It's easy to digest because the lye has broken down a lot of the pro proteins in there. There's a lot of B vitamins in, in masa and also zinc uh, for preventing colds and flu and boosting up our immune system. Potassium for, you know, good heart contractions and also for water regulation in the body. Magnesium, which is help you to sleep better and enzyme production and on and on and on and on. Most people are actually de depleted of magnesium, need more magnesium in their body. So this is a good way to do that. So there's a lot of different wonderful healthy things that corn flour can do for you. And it's so simple to make tortillas. All you do is add water to it until you can make a nice stiff dough and maybe a pinch of salt. And then you put it in the fridge covered with maybe a, uh, a moist cloth over the top of it and uh, let it sit for a half hour, an hour, and come back and make your tortillas by hand or with a press and put them on a grill until they get nice and golden, puff up just slightly. And that's it. That's nothing else. That's so simple. I mean, there's not much to it. And they are so tasty, absolutely tasty. And uh, you can make all kinds of different things, dishes. I love Mexican food. So a great way to indulge yourself in something which is wonderful. And uh, I highly recommend that you add it to your meals on a regular basis. And I have another video also about, you know, sweet corn and eating corn in general, and that's really a good also. So add corn to your diet, especially I recommend the, the corn flour, really, really fantastic stuff. You can get it as the white corn, or you can get it as the yellow corn. This happens to be the yellow, but we have both here at the house. So and enjoy the masarinas or corn, organic corn flour, and it'll do your body good. Also wanted to talk about the new movie, uh, Garab uh, Bando, Garabando. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Only God knows. This is a uh, goes back to the 1960s, and they actually t took place in 1960. Where we four young teenager, young these are like 11, 12 year old kids actually, and they had Mother Mary come to them, and it was very interesting. And uh, they, and they, they kept the Mother Mary kept coming to them from 1960 to, through 1965, and they kept having the same message coming to them that Mother Mary was giving to them. Uh, very interesting. All four have the same testimonies written down, and very interesting. I find it, it was in the northern part of Spain that this happened. And that new movie is very fantastic. If you, if you can find it in your neighborhood or online or something, uh, it's called G A R A B A N D A L. Garabando. Only God knows. And I highly recommend it. And Conchita, the one of the girls, uh, she lives in Long Island now. And she. she uh, vehemently says this is really the truth of exactly what happened and all of them still say that that uh, Mother Mary came to them and said first there'll be a warning a warning that's coming after uh, a small council of the the Vatican had happened and that might be happening soon so it'd be interesting to see uh, what shall happen, but there's some kind of warning. It would not hurt anybody, but it will make everybody aware that if you are a Christian or a non-Christian, everybody that believes in any kind of God will have take notice of what this is, and it'll be profound, they said. 
really profound. You will not be able to not notice what this uh, warning will be. They call it a warning, but it was m more of a wake-up call. <laughs> uh, it could be like two stars colliding. They could not say when it would happen, how it would happen, uh, or anything. As far as that goes, Mother Mary just kept telling them the two things. First of all, there would be this warning that would uh, awaken people. And then people can pull in their grace and find their ability to be ready for the, what this, the next step, which is the miracle. The miracle will happen after that. And it's very interesting. I find it very uh, enlightening and wonderful and uh, peacemaking inside because it reminds me of uh, a lot of the other you know, the story of Fatima, the uh, Lady of Guadalupe, the Lady of Fatima, uh, Lyon, and France, a lot of the other places. And and there's been some miracles in this area of northern Spain also that's taken place. And I think it's really important that we look at what's going on in the divine. Like we all need something special to hold on to as far as our faith goes. I find a lot of people who don't have faith, they really don't heal well. I had a lady come to me the other day. In fact, she came to me and uh, she doesn't really feel that she's going to heal. I believe she'll heal, but she needs to feel that she'll heal. And that's super important. Yeah, even when you go to the doctor, if the doctor thinks you're going to heal, it's about 60% of the time you get better. If you think you're going to get healed, you're going to heal, but the doctor doesn't think so, about 40% of the time you get better. But if the doctor and you both think you're going to get uh, healed, then about 100% of the time you get better. So it's really important that that faith and healing is there. Otherwise, we don't allow ourselves to find that great peace inside, which allows the great changes that happen deep down inside. I believe that most everything has to do with faith. If we don't have faith in a medicine, we don't have faith in, you know, a, something that's about to happen to us, or life is going to be good, if we keep saying, oh, life is bad, and then, you know, <laughs> yeah, bad things are going to happen to us, well, what do you expect? That's a, you know, self-induced process. <laughs> And so we need to allow ourselves to uh, grab a hold of something which makes us feel good and fills us up from the inside out. And so I highly recommend watching this movie. And uh, uh, I have been saying for quite a couple months here now, in fact, I've had a lot of other people saying the same thing that I know who are kind of sensitives like me, that something is coming. And, uh, in fact, a good friend of mine, they were... She was driving, and he was in the passenger seat, and he's a very sensitive person, and uh, he just kind of all of a sudden just looked over at his wife and said, something is about to happen. Mm -hmm. Yep, something is about to happen. Something spiritual is about to happen. There's, and I had another man in Florida that had the same thing, and he, he emailed me and said, Paul, uh, Paul, Dr. Paul, something spiritual is about to happen. And I go, yeah, I know. I've been feeling that exact same thing that something is about to happen. I don't know exactly when or what or anything, but something is about to happen. And I don't think it is a, a terrible thing in any way, shape, or form. I think it is this warning, This, I think it's this uh, wake-up call, this thing to awaken us to our spiritual needs and understanding that we are more than just this flesh and blood. And then we need to wake up and uh, smell the coffee, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> and understand that we have this great power within us, that we are one with this great design of creation. And I find it very interesting, and uh, I'm looking forward to whatever the sign is, you know, whether it be the crashing together of two stars or something else. I have no clue what it is, but it's nothing to have trepidation about whatsoever. Uh, I think it's important just to let it happen and uh, go inside and do our own healing that we need to do at that time. So, 
If you want to get a hold of me, my phone number is 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. My email was drpaulhader at gmail.com. That's D-R-P-A-U-L-H-A-I-D-E-R at gmail.com. That's D-R-P-A-U-L-H-A-I-D-E-R at gmail.com. And my, I, you can text me, uh, you know, I will help you in any way, shape, or form I can. Uh, I do uh, ask that you subscribe and tell others. I'm trying to push to try to get 100,000 subscribers this year, and we're going to make it. There's no doubt about it. And I'm here to help in any way, shape, or form. As I said before, uh, if you'd like to make a donation, that is greatly appreciated. It helps me to keep my work free for everyone. You know, I get people from Africa to have nothing, people from India, people from all over the world, and I want to be able to help them. And then you're helping our community of loving, caring, giving, kind people who you know, make a difference in the world, and we can make a huge change in the world and make good things happen. There's no doubt about it. And we can make a difference in the world if we just stand up and um, take action in some way. And I hope you will allow yourself to connect with me if it be spiritual or, or herbal or a combination of both. And I'm always here for you in any way, shape, or form. So uh, allow me to uh, be available to you. Remember, I go to bed by 8, eight o'clock before the chickens. <laughs> You could also WhatsApp me. You can go to my Facebook page under Dr. Paul Hader, and uh, also go to my website at www.paulhader.com. www.paulhader.com, and all my videos and my blog. And you can sign up for my blog there. Uh, you know, I write usually eight articles a week. Uh, so don't miss out on the written articles. Also, those are important. And I, a lot of the stuff I don't cover uh, uh, here in the videos because it's just not enough time uh, I can cover in the articles and have more detail and you can go back and reference them. And so that's really important. I have over 5,000, almost 6,000 articles there. So feel free to peruse and look at them. Uh, they're in my blog there. And so, and also some testimonials there, all kinds of different things. So feel free to connect with me. Also, my contact information is there. So have a wonderful day. And remember, the most important thing whatsoever is this one thing. I love you.